this is Matt on the Moon Lambo channel. I'm going to keep this latest Moon Lambo hot jam pretty simple and straightforward. I'm going to share with you perspective from six different XRP chart analysts, including one who says that this is a, quote, critical moment for XRP, end quote. And this is happening as XRP has been on the rise. But uh, before going further, I do want to be clear. I do not have a financial background of any kind. I am not offering financial advice. And you definitely should not buy or sell anything because of anything I say or write. I'm just an enthusiast who enjoys making YouTube videos about crypto-related topics, but just as a hobby and just for fun. At the time I'm recording this video, it is 1.20 a.m. Yes, in the wee hours here on now, uh, it's now Sunday, April 21st, 2024. Uh, XRP is just a hair over 53 cents. you will love to see it. Bitcoin, $65,252. Market cap for the asset class, $2.43 trillion. And the Crypto Fear and Greed Index, 72 out of 100. So we're, we're in greed currently, not extreme greed. Um, I'd also like to highlight this. <laughs> this is fun right here. Uh, here's a screen grab shared by uh, XRP uh, community member and attorney Bill Morgan. Uh, he wrote, not quite what I was expecting in the hours after the Bitcoin halving. And so he shared this on the morning of the 20th. So uh, it was probably somewhere in the neighborhood of 12 to 13 hours after the halving. And the price at that time was just fascinating. He showed the top, top nine coins by market cap, all of them in the red, including Bitcoin, including ETH, everything in the red, except for XRP, which at the time was up 3.48%. Fascinating to see, right? So what's actually going on here? Because look, if you've been paying attention, and I know you are, uh, what's actually been happening, despite what the naysayers would have you believe, despite what the Bitcoin, uh, you know, the toxic Bitcoin maxi trolls spew all over the internet, uh, what's actually been happening is a lot of things have been going the way that we should hope and expect they would prior to a face-melting rally for XRP. That is the truth. I've been reporting on this consistently as things have unfolded. I will continue to because these are worth pointing out, these things, all these metrics. And although we don't technically know for sure what's going to come, of course, and I never make price predictions, it's worth highlighting this stuff. In fact, take a look at this. This is a post from a chart analyst, Tony Severino, who I just started following because uh, I thought he had a fair, it happens to be positive, but fair uh, also post about XRP. And, um, and he's doing some chart analysis here. Now, I, I looked at his profile here on social media platform X, and I noticed that he is the head of research at News BTC. So I was surprised, let's say. I was flabbergasted, hit the floor, because News BTC, if you've been around for a while, you may know that um, <laughs> they're not exactly the go-to <laughs> for, uh, for XRP-related news. You know, so I've been around over six years now, and the first few years in particular... I would, I would kind of mock it because they consistently had bogus nonsense FUD articles about XRP. So I would mock them. I'd get on, <laughs> uh, get behind the mic here, start recording and say crap like, well, here you go. And it's it, at the article from News BTC, the most reputable, trustworthy source for all news, Ripple and or XRP, stuff like that. Because obviously it's the exact opposite. They, they, they oh my God, the degree to which they've had trash articles. Very, so it's very surprising that I saw somebody who is the head of research being fair. So I don't know anything about him. This is not anything against him. In fact, again, I just started following him and I think that this is pretty reasonable and fair what he posted here. And it's a point that um, a couple other chart analysts had been making. I just think it's noteworthy that somebody from News BTC, which historically not very friendly to XRP, broadly speaking, not very fair, uh, noting that things, you know, last time we were in a position like this, XRP just melted faces. So what we have, have here is XRP priced in United States dollars, and he's talking about Bollinger Bands, which I talked about, I don't know, two or three days ago. So check this out. You're going to love this. XRP, uh, one-month Bollinger Bands are officially the tightest ever in history. The last time they were this tight, there was a 65,000% rally that followed. That's right, folks, and that would be 2017. And so what you're looking at here in this chart, uh, may, I know it may look like a dis disheveled mess. I hopefully you have a large enough screen to, to make out what's going on here, but there are three lines, top, middle, and then bottom, right? So this middle line, that is the 20 day moving average, pretty self-explanatory, but then there's a line above it and a line below it. And what this is actually tracking is the volatility in regards to the 20 day moving average over this entire period of time going back to probably about 2015, looks like that's when it started. 
And so that's why you'll see these gaps where it looks like the bottom line's fallen off the map, basically. It is. Well, that's that's because we've, we've had extreme volatility. And so it, it, you would expect to see that. And then it gets much more narrow. Uh, at a few instances on the screen, you can see, uh, you know, leading up to the 2017 bull run, uh, last market cycle, 2020 into early 2021. Uh, so right before that, the, the Bollinger Bands narrowed. And again, right now, except for this is the most narrow they've ever been. The most narrow they have ever been. And um, the thing about Bollinger Bands is that typically when this happens, it, it's, it's a precursor to an explosive move. So you got to ask yourself, if, if there's going to be an explosive move, doesn't mean it's going to be today, tomorrow, next week necessarily, but because you can see how long it's been as narrow as it is right here where I'm circling the mouse, so, you know, but soon-ish, right? What's going to happen if we do have an explosive move? move? Is it going to be to the upside or the downside? Well, I'd hazard a guess that given that we're in a bull market, it's going to be to the upside when it finally breaks. And another reason to believe that makes sense was pointed out by uh, a chart analyst, and I shared this a couple days ago, but he pointed out that another reason to believe that it's most probable we see a massive break to the upside based on this metric is that it's the 20-day moving average, it's been sloping upwards. So, you know, if, if you're going to have a bias, it should be a bias to the positive, right? So he's pointing that out. And, and this is what happened. Last time they were this tight, 65,000% increase. And I say last time, technically this is tighter. Um, by a little bit. So the, the previous one in 2017, I think it was 0.73. And then where it's at right now is 0 0.69. So is what it is. Keep tracking it. And, you know, all the XRP haters out there, they can pretend like this is, you know, because of the price being where it is and other coins have already taken off. And if you price XRP against Bitcoin, it all looks terrible. They can say that. So they're blue in the face. But history shows us that when all the things for XRP line up like this, it performs and it performs in a way that we're really going to be happy with. Here's a post from chart analyst Mikey Bull Crypto, XRP. You can hate it, but you can't stop the next explosive move that is coming. Allow chart to do the speaking, not emotion. And so he shared this XRP USD chart indicating, hey, we've kind of seen some of this in the past. What do you think is going to follow? And he's been very uh, optimistic for XRP for quite a while. Here's chart analyst Tara at Precision Trade 3, uh, been in crypto for a, a hot minute here since 2015. And this is an XRP USD chart. And she wrote the following. Absolute critical moment here for XRP, guys. It's testing that resistance at the bottom trend line and RSI on higher time frames are trying to flip bullish. If it breaks resistance here, XRP could quickly reach next resistance at 54 and a half cents. Daily candle is still forming. Let's see how it closes. Now, I'll note that this is at 12.24 p.m., so, you know, call it uh, about 13 hours ago. And now we have the benefit of hindsight, and it has climbed a fair bit. I'm not up to 54.5 cents. The 24-hour high is, let's see here, uh, 53.1 cents. Um, well, it just went up 53.3 cents now, so it's actually climbing at the time I'm recording. That's cool to see. But directionally, yeah, that's pretty much what we should have hoped. And then in a separate post on the screen, I don't need to read it for the sake of time, but noting that she's expecting it to be the, a move beyond that, much more explosive. And so you'll, you, what you'll find is that analysts that have been here a while, analysts worth their salt who aren't biased, I can't find one that doesn't think XRP is going to do some crazy incredible stuff this market cycle. I can't find one. Anytime I find an analyst that says, nope, it's not going to perform, shouldn't be in your portfolio, you go back, look at their history, and they've been crapping on XRP for like half a decade, at least. That's all I find. If you can find an outlier, I'd like to see the outlier, just to make sure the unicorn actually does exist. Here's a post from Chart Analyst Crypto's XRP price uh, chart here. Uh, XRP bouncing, now on the way to daily 21 MA, 55 cents is next. And he posted that in the evening, 6.28 p.m., more optimism. Here's a post uh, from an XRP chart analyst, Dark Defender. This is an XRP USD chart. He wrote the following. Hi, all. XRP is still maintaining the blue support trend on the monthly time frame and strolling just above it. We are eagerly awaiting the revelation of Ripple filings this coming week. While I maintain that news typically does not directly affect the price, this last puzzle piece does spark a bit of excitement. Question. 
what are the potential scenarios if XRP fails to maintain the blue line? Answer, in such a case, we can expect XRP to test the two last Fibonacci supports of, I'll just round, round it here, 46 cents and 39 cents, which we have previously seen as bounce back points from 42 cents. 39 cents is the last Fibonacci level of the five wave structure below, which aims at $5.85. And so I will pause to note, as always, not gonna ever make a price prediction. That is very responsibly conservative. And, um, and you no, know, he believes it can go much higher than that. But even his one of his more conservative cases here, which I, again, I find completely plausible, do we really think that's not going to happen? I mean, we're, we're talking about less than a two-fold increase from the all-time high for XRP from over six years ago. We're not asking for much here. And with how much money is going to be sloshing around here and understanding that when a coin starts going, people FOMO in, it's not even about the fundamentals at that point. It's about large cap coin, uh, number go up, people FOMO in. It's about whatever the green, where, where, wherever the green candle is, actually. Wherever it is, wh meaning whatever coin it's, the green candle is attached to, that's where the money goes. And if you think that that doesn't apply to XRP, you might have some of that XRP PTSD, my friend, because it applies to every coin. <laughs> Absolutely. When that happens, when that trigger occurs, the markets just pump the damn thing consistently. That's how it's always been. You better believe XRP is going to be a part of this. It makes no logical sense that it would not be. Especially look at how XRP has been, been uh, behaving up to this point, in line with historical norms. In fact, as I mentioned in a video a couple days ago, XRP has been trending upward in price against the United States, dollars, uh, United States dollar for two years. It had its low in June of 2022 at 28 cents. Ever since then, higher lows, baby, higher lows. Anyway, uh, Dark Defender continues. This means this structure can only be invalidated if we close below 39 cents a two to three days in a row. Any other moves between 66 cents and 39 cents are side moves. I highlighted many times and repeated that XRP will be highly bullish above 66 cents and then is expected to proceed with our Fibonacci targets of buck 88 and $5.85 first. Let's see what will be revealed shortly. Yep, it sounds pretty plausible to me. We'll see what happens. And as far as I'm concerned, it's just a matter of time. XRP will hit a new all-time high and enter price discovery. That's what I believe. And I always acknowledge no one can know for sure, including me. I'm just a dude on the internet. I'm just sharing with you what I expect to occur. And that's what I think is most probable. New all-time high, price discovery. Face is melted. Here's a post from chart analyst E. Greg Crypto. Let me make this full screen for you. XRP dominance. Now, this is a fun one because XRP has had some serious dominance in the past. And of course, it has occurred at times when it's running. So even if the highest levels of dominance are short-lived, it doesn't matter. That's our that's our window of opportunity for life-changing wealth. It just is what it is. Again, if you think it's not going to happen this market cycle, why? It doesn't make sense. Unless we have a black swan event or we don't have a proper alt season and coins aren't popping, that's the only caveat I have to this. Other than that, to think that the whole market's going to go berserk, but little old XRP is just going to sit on the sidelines and be like, no thanks, I'm not interested. No, I don't. That doesn't make any sense. It makes no logical sense. Anyway, here's what Egret Crypto wrote. XRP dominance. Explosive action coming soon. Currently, XRP dominance is resting on a historical support line echoing patterns seen in 2017 and 2021. Historically, XRP has exhibited rapid and powerful pumps. Could we witness a similar move soon? Potential targets begin at FIB levels 1.272, 1.414, and 1.618. So that top one, I'll note, that would be a 17.39% dominance level. Which I don't, I don't think that's asking for too much. I mean, it's been over 30% before. Now, that, that would have been, you know, back when it was your all-time high. And there's a lot more competition now. And, you know, I understand. It, it, not even that we'd have to hit that. In order to get the dollar levels, that would make most of us really, really, really super duper triple happy. Uh, it doesn't even necessarily have to get that high. So uh, we'll see what happens here. But there are so many reasons to be optimistic. We just have to wait. We're, we're almost at the finish line. But 
we got to we got to have the market heat back up. What we've been experiencing for the last month or so with the market being what it is, it's normal. You get pullbacks. It shakes some people out. Then you, you continue the upside. I've been through this many times. This is my third bull market in crypto. It, it's pretty similar. This is pretty much what it's like. And then people think it's dead and then it just surges to the upside. And then we have the grand finale and that's where the true fireworks are. That's what I'm really looking forward to. So uh, I'm going to be sticking around for that. Will you? <laughs> it's going to be fun. I'm not a financial advisor. You should not buy or sell anything because of anything I say or write. That would be a very, very, very bad idea. Until next time, to the moon, Lambo.